Okay, here we are again. Just got done with the football. Moving on to the basketball. Now, you could probably see there's a painting underneath this. It's like an old painting of lips. So again, I'm reusing canvas. You can always just... This one, I was able to paint it white because my basketball is definitely going in on top of the lips. And the lips were red, so it's going to be similar colors. Hopefully, this won't bleed through. Um, other paintings, if you had marker out here or something, I mean, it just becomes part of the painting because sometimes you just cannot cover up marker. Um, and that's why I choose to go with a black canvas sometimes. So, all right, so the first thing we're going to do with this one, again, just going to wing it. Um, I want to have the basketball. So we did do, I don't know if I said this, here's the basketball from one art camp that we did a sports theme. And what we did is we, we did it on um, paper that takes acrylic paint, and then we cut it out, and then I had the kids paint a background, and then we adhered it to the background. And so that worked for um, a younger kid, and especially for the time that we had. But you guys out there doing it, one, you know, watching the video, it's just you so you guys can take your time. Um, first thing we're going to do, we're going to take this color, which is your burnt sienna. Make sure you have a rag handy. And you have some water, preferably clean water. Um, and yeah, so we're going to put our shadows in first because when you're younger, it's almost easier to do that. A little water down. And we're going to follow my, follow the lines. And you know, since I did, I'm not seeing my black line like I did in this one. Probably because I did the white on top. So we might have to come back in. Yours, when you get yours, you will have the black lines. So we're adding our shadows and if they go really big that's okay because our black lines will be there and that helps define or I'm just going over it with a big brush stroke so you can see that that's going to be okay not clear what we're going to do on the background yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and wipe my edges. More than likely, we'll go dark. Yep, we're going to go dark. So I would take this right now and go to the blow dryer. Actually, I'm going to have you take your paintbrush and take the brown around the circle too. So inside the circle, inside the circle, you're gonna add a shadow. Aim for inside the circle. I have a wire in my way here. And again, you'll have the black lines Follow, so going inside the circle. Now go blow dry. All right, so now everything is dry. We can get into our basketball color. That would stop moving. Actually, hold on. All right, if you can tell, I don't know if you can or not. I turned my camera, flipped it. So the cord wasn't over on this side, which I'm left-handed, so it was always bumping. So hey, hey, look at that. Um, now we're going to make our basketball a little orange, a little orangey. Get it going. 
going on. Need my rag. You can always get clean rags too. I'm very bad about getting clean rags. So I have a yellow and a red. Blend those together. It's getting a little thick. Maybe we'll do a coat of, you know what, let's do a coat of yellow first. And then we'll add the orange color. We need to soften down. The brown. Y'all know a color uh, orange and blue make brown. So if you get your yellow into your blue, it'll make green, like a greenish. I welcome all colors to come about it is just paint and it's you're expressing yourself so you could have your basketball could be whatever color you want it to be <laughs> okay so now that that's more of a yellow let's make this orange color and we'll start putting it down here at the bottom And I start with the yellow color. I should have gone and dried because you can see, I feel like I'm picking it up and uh, getting right to the white. So guess what we're going to go do? Dry. <sighs> stinking, stinking stuff. have to pour my orange on there. Oh yeah. Make sure lighting, make sure lighting. Come make me clean water. Please. 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 So this is super funny if I don't figure out how to um, cut some of that video off. I forgot to pause it and then when I, I went to dry and it was still filming and then I came back and I pushed the button thinking that I was starting the film but actually I ended it. So um, the only thing I did was I mixed more orange and then I brought it up here and I left like right in here a little lighter. So I just was working my orange and kept this a little wider as you see there's more there's a little bit more red color down in here and then right there it's got a little 
lighter feel to it. I need to grab some more yellow. Thick yellow. Okay. So I'm thinking we need to even go a little bit darker down here. So still gonna make an orange, but I want it to be more red. I don't. Okay, a little thick. I'm going to add a little water. Let's see if that helps. A lot of water helps. See those lines, those shadow lines help to define little water help to define your basketball so I'm just gonna go back over these lines with a little red and it's a watered-down red I think that looks kind of nice straight yellow whoops what did I grab Better clean my brush. If someone would have gotten me clean water when I asked, that wouldn't have happened. Oh, she's fired. <laughs> she's like, what? I didn't know I was hired. No, just kidding. Clean yellow. Right there, kind of in the center. Put the yellow right there. And this one is all about kind of having some texture on that ball, which is super fun. And so when you do pick up paint, that is kind of nice. A little more orange right up here. Right in this curve. And you guys, being the basketball people that you are, or sports people, you can decide how far you want to go. So this is this one was pretty dark that we did before. Um, this one's definitely a little lighter, which is kind of cool. So let's say and see all these little dots that's kind of like what a um, basketball would have you know I'm going to take a little bit of brown right around those edges only because that pulled up quite a bit A little bit of that sienna. As long as I keep with kind of the curve of the ball, I think that's kind of nice. Okay, what about doing a little white highlight. And that's what fingers are good for, isn't it? Put that brown there and I'll put white on there, which I like it. I kind of like that this goes like this. Now remember, we're going to put this 
push. Going with the flow of the, uh, the lines. You know what? Let's take a little bit of the dark brown. We're having fun. It's like it's in space. You don't need much here. That's a little creamier. If you need to go outside, outside of it, then do that. Okay. It almost does look like, hey, we're in space. Space basketball. Basketball. Okay. Basketball, I think, would even be kind of fun to have some splatter on it. Because who doesn't like a little splatter? And maybe we will. So let's move all the other paintings out of the way. Oh, your parents are going to love me. Oop, see this cord? In the way. All right, so first thing we need to do, let's, let's go ahead and do, let's finish like a space feeling thing. Let's do it that way. So, should ask the child on how to do a space galaxy because she knows. Stay out of my basketball. And maybe a little red. Isn't that what they do with galaxy stuff? Hopefully the guys are going, yeah, cool, and that, oh, man. <laughs> and this would go really well with the um, football. That, I like that a lot. And let's say your shape didn't stay so very circly. Another fun thing you could do is add some swoopy white line. Well, we're gonna put the the um, net in, so that'll help. So if you feel like you need to add a little black in the corners. black I like that a lot that looks kind of cool watch your fingers I keep making fingerprints <laughs> they're over there playing checkers or something they're messing with the checkers game so, little, hey Piper, sweetheart, I'm filming. We can hear every little thing you say. Jeez. Okay, I like how bright this blue is. So even if we dry, 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 go get another coat on there of blue.
Okay, I had to go to the shop. Okay. See, I like how bright that blue is next to the basketball. Cause orange and uh, blue are opposites. I keep moving it. We want to keep with the circle. Okay, so I'm going to go look up to see how to do the nut. Okay, so now that I, I kind of laid out the nut, now that I look at it and we're thinking about space, I didn't even think about this, but it kind of looks like Saturn, basketball Saturn. So... What I did was I made it, I did a little swoosh here. We'll go over this and I used my really small brush so you can lay this out and if you don't like it, then, then it can come off. So make sure you dry, dry, dry your whole painting before you start this. Cause then if you do want to take it off and you don't like it, you can just wet down a brush and kind of wipe it off and then fix whatever. <laughs> um, so small brush. Probably even a little wet white is what I would use. Do a little swoosh here. And here's the big doozy. Don't load your brush up big time. You're going all across here and going around. So I'm picking up some paint because my, my thing was wet. And this is like a, it's an abstract net, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And then, of course, I came down with a shape here. Whoop, as I missed it. That's okay. More than like they're going to get big strokes anyways. And I did one over here. And then I know there's like two going down like this this. We'll make another set over here. And then we have our angles, which you can make as thin thin thick thin thick however you want to do that. If you go back over it, then you have more chance of definitely making it larger. That's why you want to dry, dry, dry. I think it's kind of fun. Didn't hurt to make him a little thick. Because that's probably what's going to happen. Actually, the thick makes it Nice down here, have them really thin up there. So this is just a watered down brush I'm going over my strokes. So I can bring that up. It's just water on my brush now. Now define them so you can go back and define them as much as you want. Um, I like the thicker net, so I'm making it a little thick down at the bottom. See, that's kind of nice. Go over this one. Okay, it's kind of special. So I'm going to turn it. I'm going to try to make this one a little thicker. So I'm a lefty, so I'm putting it on my. This should all be dry. Mine, of course, is not, and I'm going to do this anyways.
Make it a little bigger. See, and that doesn't bother me either because it's an abstract painting, so that's kind of cool. I like how that red is in there. Now I thought, take a little water off, just put some water on my brush. Well, I kind of like that. I was going to come back with black, but just a little water. I'm going to clean up my lines here. Just water. If I just have water on my brush and not where it's watery, then that kind of cleans those lines. Now this might be a little complex, but then it doesn't hurt the kids to try. Does it? Okay, so then the thing is, do you want to add swishing marks on the ball? I really, really, really want to go black under here. So again, you don't have to, but I think maybe I'll make like a blue black. If you have a steady finger, a blue black. Steady finger, steady hand. Um, make sure it's a little watered down. Uh, I add a little water to my brush and I put it in there. And it's still got enough paint on there that it's, I'm barely touching. Grab a little more paint. If you need to turn it however you need to turn it. Okay, kind of like that. Now, I gotta do it a little thicker over here. And then I'm going to. Motion. Oop, I did another one down here. Kind of fun. Fun, 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 fun. Now, then you could go back and go, do I want to even go black? Super black. Now, you could dry, 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 and then just do that with a marker. That's another thing that you could do. little black gray through some of this. I'll think it's kind of cool. Okay. Um, you can put more in the background. This needs to go black. My finger keeps touching it. Oh, I talked about splatter painting. I don't know. <laughs> uh, if you want to go, I would do it with white. Or you can even do, you can do whatever color. You could do any kind of color. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. What else should we do? Should we add, you know what? It's, it's not gonna hurt anything. If we hate it, we 
paint over it. So then you have to put it on the ball. Straight white. And then if you want to do more like the galaxy thing, oh, just take the back side of your brush. You can even put, because there's little dots all over the basketball, isn't there? galaxy ball so there you go so there's basketball so again you could do this technique with well the soccer ball you could do it with the net and do like the um, galaxy look you guys probably would do better galaxy than me anyways I like to see your all's galaxies like there could be more color blendage right here And through. So there you go. Oops. Finite.